Hello, Catherine. Hello. Hi, how are you? So-so. So-so. Why? <laughs> Why so-so? ¿Por qué andas so-so? Cansada. I imagine. <laughs> it's two of us. <laughs> that makes two. <laughs> yeah, ya son otros. Pero aquí estamos aprendiendo, que es lo más importante. Ok. ¿A qué hora salen de trabajar ustedes? A las 4.33. ¿4.33? Ni un minuto más, ni un minuto más. Cabal a la hora. Ok. ¿En ¿Cuánto te toma llegar a tu casa? Este, 20 minutos. Ah, it's very close. That's so good. It's nice that it's close and you can go walking or by bus or whatever. Puedes ir caminando y hacer en bus, como sea. That's so nice. Rápido. It is very, very good. That you can do it and that it, it is very close to your house. Te quedas cerquita de tu casa. That's very good. Ok, eh, les voy a enviar unos documentos al WhatsApp. <coughs> Veamos. Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome. Hello. Welcome to the class. Ya no vamos a mover nada más. Solo es yo. Hello, Steven. Steven, no sé qué le pasa a tu micrófono que de repente no te oigo. ¿Ve? Ajá, ahorita no te oigo nada. Bien raro. Ajá, ahorita no te oigo nada, nada, nada. Ok, de repente, sí, lo, se ve que está activo. Ok, y tú no me escuchas a mí tampoco, entonces. Desconecta los audífonos y pruébalos sin, sin los audífonos. Desconectalos. Hello everybody, hello Antonio, hello Christian, hello Leti, hello Dalila, hey. Antonio José, eso que tiene justo arriba de la cabeza está un poco peligroso, <ríe> enfoque para arriba, <ríe> ok, nada, <ríe> uy, eso sí está un poco, un poco peligrosito eso. No mucho. ¿Ah? Ya se acostumbra uno. Se acostumbra uno. No, yo te digo que en algún temblor o alguna cosa te puede caer encima. Ah, es cierto. Tene cuidado. <risa> Justo bien. Lo voy a quitar. La... Este fin de semana lo quito. Ajá, me dio miedo ahí la... Me arcaba ahí la punta de la coma. Y ahí... <risa> un temblor ahí. <risa> Peligroso. Ahí está, Edwin Steven está tratando con el audio. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the class. I am very, very happy to see you. And for sure, to have another opportunity to learn. Edwin, ¿ya nos oyes? Sí, hoy sí te escucho. Baji, bajito, pero te escucho. Te escucho bajito, bajito, pero hoy sí ya, ya te escucho. Funciona. Hello, Joana. Hello, everybody. Mr. Christian, Tatiana, welcome. It is a great pleasure to have you all here. Well, I was <clears throat> I was working and I was sending you some documents. 
let me see. Le voy a enviar unos documentos al WhatsApp por si no los tienen todavía. Se los voy a enviar. Okay, and I am going to send you the other two. Unit three and unit four. Okay. On your WhatsApp, you have the four units of study, okay? Ahí les acabo de compartir las cuatro unidades del manual en WhatsApp por si no las habían descargado, okay? De parte de inglés corporativo les van a enviar un comprobante, que es un, un documento. Entonces, tienen que llenarlo de que sí tienen el manual descargado, okay? Ya sea que ustedes los hayan hecho en la plataforma o usted los tenga por medio del, del WhatsApp, pero ya tienen su manual. Okay. Eso es muy importante para que ustedes puedan tener constancia de que ya lo tienen descargado. ¿Cómo vamos a usar el manual? Eso es muy importante también. En el manual están todos los temas. Yo les voy agregando temas diferentes porque pues quiero que también conozcan un poquito de todo. ¿eh? Que, solo se, que no solo se queden con lo que está en el manual porque a veces el manual tiene temas bien chiquitos. Permítanme que estoy sacando mi USB. El manual a veces tiene temas pequeñitos, no están muy, muy bien descritos. Eh, o sea, sí están bien descritos, pero tienen como bien poca información. Entonces, a mí me gusta siempre darles un poquito más de, de toda la info. Así que si se fijan, a veces el manual tiene ciertos temas que son bien enfocados a Things to work, right? Cosas del trabajo. Pero yo les agrego otras cosas más que son de práctica, un poquito más de gramática, pronunciación, lectura, etcétera, porque nos sirven. Nos sirven para que ustedes también vayan desarrollando otras habilidades. Entonces, voy a abrir también la unidad del manual, que es la que hemos trabajado en estos días que hemos estado juntos, pues para que la podamos tener ahí a la mano, Okay. Just give me a second. Okay. Pueden revisar todos en el WhatsApp que hayan recibido el, el, los documentos que les envié. Can you check, please? That you receive it. Yes. Ya lo vieron, ya después los pueden descargar y pues ya los pueden abrir. When you open the document, <clears throat> when you open the document, you are going to see and you are going to receive something like this, ¿ok? This is what we were studying yesterday. Eso fue lo que estuvimos estudiando ayer, ¿ok? We were studying this yesterday, ¿ok? And as you can see, this is unit number one of your manual, okay? This is unit number one of your manual. And here you have it, right? Okay, this is unit number one. This is what we were studying yesterday, right? ¿Se recuerdan que eso lo estuvimos estudiando ayer? ¿Cómo se llaman estos que, están, que les estoy mostrando ahorita? What is the name of these words? ¿Cómo se llaman estas palabras? ¿O a qué categoría pertenecen? Supervisor, engineer, secretary, truck driver, floor manager, maintenance. What are those? Are those fruits? Animals? Professions, right? They are professions. Professions and occupations, right? Professions and occupations. What is the difference between profession and occupation? ¿Alguien sabe la diferencia entre profesión y ocupación? ¿Cuál es la diferencia? No hay día. ¿Alguien tiene una idea más o menos de que, cuál es la diferencia entre profesión y ocupación? In Spanish, it can be in Spanish, don't worry. No, pero... Ajá. Los dos son trabajos, pero quizás nunca nos hicieron esta pregunta. <risa> ah, bueno, en el 
tazo nunca me la han hecho. Ya ve, no había llegado con teacher nativa. José Reyes tenía la manita levantada primero y después Tatiana, veamos. Pues creo que profesión es lo de una carrera que lleva título uh -huh. y este la otra me decía, ¿cómo digo? ¿Se, se llama? Occupation. Ocupación. Ocupación. Ocupación, pues es algo que desempeñamos en nuestro trabajo, por poner ejemplo. It can be, right? It was very close. Estamos muy, muy cerca. Cuando me dijo profession and occupation, ya lo vamos a explicar. Tati, ¿cuál es tu, tu concepto? Este, prácticamente lo, lo mismo que el compañero iba a mencionar, ¿verdad? De que profesión pues ya está eh, relacionada con la formación académica. Ok, y very good. Ajá, uh -huh. en occupation. Ser, ocupación puede ser ya el trabajo o a qué se dedica una persona. Ok, that's, that's definitely it, right? Esa es exactamente a lo que quería llegar. Y sí, la diferencia entre profession and occupation is that one, right? Profession is something that you have to study to know, right? For example, if you want to be a teacher, you have to go to the university, you have to study, you have to prepare, you have to learn, you have to take different, uh, <clears throat> different courses in order to be a teacher, right? Si quiere titularse, además, eso tiene que pasar cursos, no sé qué, profesorados, etc. So that is a profession because you need to study for that. An occupation is something that you can learn, okay? And in some cases, people learn things very quickly. Algo que usted tiene que puede aprender. For example, imagine that I am a teacher, but I love cooking, right? Me encanta la pastelería, por ejemplo. Yo me junto con alguien que puede y aprendo. And that can be my occupation, right? Y esa puede ser mi ocupación. Because I learned, okay? There are many jobs, and I know many professionals who work on things that they just learned. Yo conozco mucha gente que trabaja en cosas que aprendió y que después las hizo suyas, pues. Imagínense un mecánico, por ejemplo, que su papá era mecánico, entonces el hijo aprendió. Y de ahí, uff, taller súper grande. Right? That's an occupation, right? Ya si lo quiere profesionalizar, you go and study. Ya si lo quieres hacer más grande, más profesional, vas y pues estudias un técnico en y ya lo puedes mejorar mucho más. Por ejemplo, alguien decía ayer que era auditor de costura o coach de costura. Ok, eso es algo que yo, por ejemplo, no lo sé, pero puedo aprenderlo. So, that's the difference. Ok. Let me continue right here. Here we have different occupations and different professions, right? Maintenance, floor manager, supervisor, truck driver, engineer, and secretary. And we were doing this part of the chart. Eso también lo hicimos ayer. Okay. And we also did this one about the sentences, right? We did the sentences. And we are going to go today with a conversation, okay? We are going to have a conversation. And let me make it bigger. Okay. Analyze the conversation and tell me about words that you don't know. Vean la conversación, analícenla y díganme si hay palabras que no conocen. And you say, teacher, what's the meaning of? Or you can use the pencil and mark it, right? O pueden usar el lapicito y marcarla. If you don't know the word. Or you can tell me, teacher, what's the meaning of marketing? And I can help you. Uh -huh. Quiet. 
questions, questions, questions. Hey, hoy lo veo a todos. Solo a Leti no veo ni a Rosita. Hey, ya veo a Leti. <ríe> Solo a Rosita no veo. Rosita, ¿dónde estás? Thank you very much. A todos los veo bien lindos ahí. Uh, they have many. <ríe> ok. Colleagues. Y este, ok, ajá. Eh, Steven, dime. Aquí va a empezar a llover y se ve que viene fuerte por si no me oye un poco. Ah, bueno, no, no, no. Si no me grita, te echa. Ok, no, it's ok, Steven. If not, you can use the chat. Si no, cualquier cosa que necesites, ocupa el chat también. Por si no, no te funciona mucho el audio, usa el chat. Ok. Good, I have different words on the paragraph that are marked. Ok. ¿Qué significa chaqueta aquí? Este. Este que me anda dibujando por aquí. So we have. What is the meaning of two? When you agree with the person. They say, nice to meet you, two. Mucho gusto de conocerte, también. That's the meaning of two, right? También. What about this one? Quality. Quality is exactly as in Spanish. Quality is quality in Spanish. What is the meaning of quality then? Calidad. Calidad. Colleagues. Colleagues is exactly like you. All of you are colleagues. Todos ustedes son colleagues. ¿Por qué? Porque trabajan en el mismo lugar. Right? Colleague means compañero de trabajo. That's the meaning of colleague. It's compañero de trabajo. We have also other definitions. For example, you have classmate. Classmate is compañero de clase. And you can also have workmate. Si classmate es compañero de clase, ¿qué es workmate? Compañero de trabajo, right? Then you have colleague, and then you can also have another word that is similar to this one that it's called partner. Partner is compañero, in general. He's my partner, es mi compañero, right? Puede ser de fútbol, puede ser de clase, puede ser de natación, puede ser de viaje. My partner, you say. My partner, my classmate, my workmate, my colleague. Colleague means colega. Gente que trabaja con usted. My colleague. Any other question? <clears throat> Any other question? Algo más que no sepamos qué significa? No? We aren't. Somos. We aren't. Ah, we are. Somos. Yes. We are colleagues. Somos compañeros de trabajo. Somos colegas, right? We are colleagues. So let's go right here. And in this case, for example, we're going to start here. Good morning. I am Mrs. Mary Garcia. I am the new secretary. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, okay? If I say, nice to meet you, tú me contestas, nice to meet you too. Mucho gusto de conocerte también. I am Mr. Romeo Lobos, and they are Mr. Rodrigo Campos and Mr. Luis Perez. Welcome. We are from the marketing department. No, I am not. I am from the quality department. They are marketing managers. Yes, we aren't from the same department, but we are colleagues. Thank you so much for the information. Okay, so here we have, we aren't from the same department, but we are colleagues. No somos del mismo departamento, pero, but, pero, we are colleagues, okay? In the conversation, you have a specific words. For example, in this case, you have the word Mrs. And for the boy, you have 
Mr. Right? What is the difference between Miss and Mr.? You have it right here. Miss Mary Garcia and Mr. Rodrigo Campos. What is the difference? Uh -huh. Express your idea. Go ahead. Uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Uh, se refiere a ella. Y... Ay, ya me confundí. <laughs> 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 okay, Mrs. Mary Garcia and Mr. Rodrigo Campos. Joanna, what do you think? Uh -huh, Joanna, to microphone. No te escucho, Joanita. Tenemos problemas de micrófonos aquí, ya vi. <laughs> Hoy sí, yo creo que sí. Ole. No, yo no te escucho todavía. Nada. Para diferenciar el género. Eh, ajá, it's to differentiate the gender. Exactly like that. Right? Joana, si no desconectarlos y volverlos a conectar, tal vez ahí se le da. Ok. Mrs. is for ladies. Oh, ya te había escuchado por un segundo. Mrs. is for ladies and Mr. is for men. You can also have other options. For example, when you say Miss and Mrs. And we have Mr. that it's for the men. Okay, Miss, que es esta primera que les muestro aquí. So you say Miss is señorita soltera. Miss. Miss Tatiana. Miss Dalila. Okay, because it says no ring, no nothing, right? Mrs. This one, Mrs. is Señora Casada, right? Mrs. It's the same pronunciation of this one, Mrs. It's the same. ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre este Mrs. y este Mrs.? Que en esta, usted está seguro totalmente que la señora está casada. En esta es una señora, pero no sabe si está soltera o casada. Entonces la abreviatura va a ser Mrs. Para no ofender a nadie. So you say Mrs. y lo abreviamos así cuando no estamos seguros si está soltera o casada. Y si ya sabemos que está casada, lo escribimos así. Mrs. En Mr. Dichosos los hombres. Mister es para soltero, casado, viudo, divorciado. Mister. Ahí no se sabe. No se sabe si está soltero, si está viudo, si está casado, si está rejuntado. Si está... Mister para todos. So, what would be the difference? ¿Quiénes de aquí están casadas? Veamos. Levanten la mano si está casada. Y el esposo la para. Ah, qué bonito. No está casada la señora. <risa> A ver, casadas. Ninguna. ¿Con pareja? Que ya viven con su esposo, con su novio. Tampoco ninguna. Ah, Catherine, va Catherine. ¿no? Y el novio a la para así. Ah, qué bonito, vea. Qué linda la niña. Ok, good. Ok, el esposo aquí ahorita. Ah, ah, con gran dolor en el corazón. Ah, me negó. A ver, ok. Esposos de este grupo, nadie aquí los ha negado, ok. Todas dijeron que estaban casadas. Ok, so in this case, we have uh, Catherine, she is Mrs. Catherine, right? Mrs. Catherine Solorzano, because for sure she is married, right? She is married. And you say she is going to be, in this case, Mrs. Catherine Solorzano. Solorzano. Okay. There you go. She is Mrs. Catherine Solorzano because she is married. I am Natalie de Flores. For sure, I am Mrs. Natalie de Flores. So, para todas las solteras del grupo, raise your hand. Las solteras aquí. 
Y todo, a la todo le van. <risa> Arriba le mando a la soltera. Dice, yay. Ahí sí besó. En the case of Joanna, she's Miss Joanna Durán. Right? She's Miss. Right? She's Miss Joanna Durán. Right? Okay, Miss Joanna. Because she's single, right? And for the boys, for all the boys, you are going to be Mr. Christian Ramos, Mr. Antonio Jose, Mr. Edwin Steven, right? Mr. Jose Reyes. And we don't say if they are married or not. ¿Quiénes ya están casados? A ver, levanten la mano. ¿Ah? A una esposa se le rompió el corazón ahorita. Oh, negada. Mr. Christian, you are not married. No, no, todavía no estoy casado. Antonio. Tampoco. <ríe> Mr. Edwin Steven. Por el momento soy feliz. Ah, Don José Reyes. Presente, casadito. Ah, sí. he has the ring, yo no. Know. <ríe> Sorry. Ah, por ahí lo tengo. <laughs> I have it right there. No lo he perdido. No le cuenten a mi esposo. <laughs> Casado, okay? So, in this case, is Mr. Jose Reyes. And he is Mr. even when he is married. Yes or no. Okay? For the ladies, is the complication, right? Siempre las chicas les va ahí como que tienen que ser marcadas por el matrimonio. So, But that's the difference, right? Yo soy feliz todavía, dice esto, bicho. <laughs> so, Malia, Malia. Let's practice the conversation. We are going to go here and we are going to practice the conversation. And I think, who, who is writing on the chat? Let me lose. Hey, okay. Pamela presente. Okay, confirmo, activado. Eh, todos están... Todos están activos en la plataforma, chicos. Eso les están escribiendo en el chat. ¿Todos ya se activaron en la plataforma? Sí, ¿no? ¿Edwin? Donde aparecen los videos. Sí, donde están los videos, donde están la, los ejercicios y todo. ¿Yes? Sí, Ok, everybody. ¿Todos ya están activos? ¿Alguien necesita ayuda? No, yo todavía no. Vale, entonces, donde se tienen que registrar con su correo y su contraseña. Sí, lo intenté, pero todavía no, no he podido hacerlo. Ok, pero sí pudiste entrar. Solo entré a la paginita donde me decía que tenía que registrarme y tenía que ser in, eh, con una invitación. Ajá. Y después de ahí ya no pude acceder a más. Ok, trata de volver a entrar ahora, porfa, para confirmar. Cristian, ¿todo bien con la plataforma? Sí, todo bien. Ok, Antonio, ¿todo bien? Ok, oh, Leticia Ortiz. Todo nice. Catherine Elizabeth. ¿Todo bien? Catherine Solórzano. Ah, ahorita estoy viendo eso. Ok. Tatiana. Todo nice. Luz, también. Ok. No puede entrar, Luz. No te escucho porque tenés el micrófono apagado. No, no he podido. Ok, tratemos de entrar para ver si todo nos funciona. Ok, Leticia González, ¿todo bien? José, ¿todo bien? ¿En la plataforma? Yes. Ok, Ilse. Intenté entrar, pero no pude. Este, Pero ya le pedí ayuda y <coughs> le acabo de confirmar que después de la clase voy a intentar entrar otra vez. Ok, perfecto. Sí, es que les mandaron un mensaje al chat para que ustedes confirmen. Si alguien necesita ayuda para entrar y no, no puede cuando lo intente, ponga ahí en el chat, necesito ayuda para que ellos les receten ahí todo el sistema. Ok, so, ese fue el servicio social de la noche. Let's go with the conversation and you say, good morning, I am Mrs. Mary Garcia. I am the new secretary. Nice to meet you, right? Let's go here and say, good morning. Si se fijan, aquí hay una coma. Nos tenemos que detener un poquito. Good morning. I am Mrs. Mary Garcia. Y aquí hay un punto. Tenemos que detenernos un poquito cuando estamos leyendo. I am the new secretary. Otro punto. 
nice to meet you, ¿ok? Cuando estamos leyendo y vemos los signos de puntuación, nos detenemos un poquito, una pausa breve, ¿no? Good morning. I am Miss... No, right? Una pausa breve. Good morning. I am Mrs. Mary Garcia. I'm the new secretary. Nice to meet you. Practice with me. Good morning. I am Mrs. Mary Garcia. I'm the new secretary. Nice to meet you. Good morning. Good morning. I am I am Mrs. Mary Garcia. I am, I am the new secretary. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. 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 I am Mr. Romeo Lobos. I am, I am Mr. Romeo Lobos. And Mr. Luis Perez. Okay, and they are Mr. Welcome. Rodrigo Campos and Mr. Luis Perez. And they are Mr. Rodrigo Campos and Mr. Luis Perez. Welcome. Welcome. We are from the marketing department. We are from the marketing department. Marketing. No, I'm not. No, I am not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm from the quality department. They are marketing managers. They are marketing managers. Yes, we aren't from the same department. Yes, we are from the same department. But we are colleagues. But we are colleagues. Thank you so much for the information. Thank, Thank you. you so much for the information. For the information. Okay. When you say, okay, ¿se acuerdan ayer que les enseñé a decir Thursday? Thursday. Con la lengua, atrás de los dientes y toda la cosa. Say Thursday. The same is for thank you. Don't say sing. No. Todo mundo, el error más común que tenemos en el idioma que la gente dice, thank you. And that's not correct. It is thank you. Thank you. Thursday. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Birthday. Thursday. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. There you go. You see the difference. Se, se escucha claramente la diferencia entre un thank you y un thank you. En la yugular de la thank teacher. You. Con thank you. Thank you. Cada vez que dicen thank you, se muere un diccionario. Thank you. You say thank you. Thank you very much for the information, right? So let's practice because you are going to go and practice together. You say, good morning. I am Mrs. Natalie de Flores. I am the new secretary. Nice to meet you. Good morning. I am Mrs. Natalie de Flores. I am the new secretary. Nice to meet you. Vamos, usted. Good morning. I, 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 good morning. I am Mrs. Mary Garcia. I exactly. Am okay, Beth, wait, uh, listen. Listen, I said I am Mrs. Natalie de Flores, porque yo estoy diciendo la conversación. Entonces, ustedes no me pueden decir I am Mrs. Natalie de Flores. Yeah, todos somos Natalie. Hashtag. Todos somos Natalie. Okay. <laughs> you say like, I am Mr. Antonio. I am Miss Joanna. I am Miss Alma. I am Miss Catherine. Okay, you have to use your name, okay? So, good morning. I am Mrs. Natalie de Flores. I am the new secretary. Nice to meet you. Vamos, todo. Vamos, vamos. Nice to meet you. Okay. Nice to meet you. Vale, vamos a empezar con Joana. Va, preséntese, Joana. Good morning. Good morning. I'm Joana Duran. I'm the new secretary. Nice to meet you. Very good job. Eh, Antonio. Good morning. I am Mr. Antonio. I am the new secretary. 
secretary. Uh, nice to meet you. Very good. Catherine Elizabeth. The microphone, sweetie. No te escucho. Good morning. I am Miss Catherine. I am the secretary. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Say nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Jose Reyes, vamos. Mrs. Good morning. I am Miss Mr. Mary Garcia. No, Heriberto Mr. Reyes. Ajá. Mr. Heriberto Reyes. I am uh, secretary. Yes, nice to meet you. Okay. Perdón por mi <laughs> mi anunciadora aquí ladrando. Eh, ok, ¿alcanzan a oír a mi pequeño perro ladrando? No. 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 Really? No. Hey, that's so nice. Ok. <risa> tengo, tengo, es que yo tengo un pequeño perrito, como de este tamaño. <risa> que anda ladrando por toda la casa, pero siempre he tenido la duda si ustedes lo pueden escuchar o no, por el tipo de micrófono que tengo. Pero si me dicen que no, qué bendición. Porque sí, tenía un gran relajo ahí adentro. Yeah. Así que confirman que no me oyen a la quiera. No. Okay. Muy bien. Vamos a, a felicitar al que me vendió los audífonos. <ríe> Yo siempre he tenido ese, esa cosa que a las 7.30 pasa el muchacho del pan y la quiera le ladra como que no hay mañana. Entonces decía yo, qué pena con los chicos que oyen ahí los ladridos. Pero gracias por confirmar. Janet Sarabia, welcome. Luz Rodríguez, can you introduce yourself? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I am Evelyn Janet. I I the next secretary need to net you. I am the new secretary. The new secretary. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to, meet you. nice to meet you. Okay, Luz Rodriguez, vamos. Good morning, I am Miss Luz Rodriguez. I am the new secretary. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Very good job. So that's the way you do it. So you say, Good morning. I am, and you use your name. I am Natalie de Flores. I am the new secretary. Nice to meet you, right? Nice to meet you too. I am. And then you're going to use the next person, right? Porque lo van a hacer en parejas. Entonces el otro le va a decir, I am Mr. Eh, Antonio José and Mr. Eh, José Reyes, for example. Welcome. We are from the marketing department. No, I am not. I am from the quality department. They are marketing managers. Yes, we aren't from the same department, but we are colleagues. Okay. Oh, thank you so much for the information. Okay, so we are going to go and we are going to be in groups of three and you are going to create your conversation. You are going to use your names. You can also use your profession. It's okay. Si no me quieren decir, I am the new secretary, you can say I am the new supervisor, I am the new auditor, I am the new mechanic, I am the new engineer. You can use any type of profession. I am going to send it to your WhatsApp. Ok, se lo voy a enviar al WhatsApp para que la puedan practicar. Ok. Mrs. Mrs. Ya alguien anda practicando ahí, Mrs. Ok. So the conversation is on the chat. We are going to be in groups of three and we are going to practice, right? Any word that you don't know how to pronounce. ¿Le tienen problemas de pronunciación con alguna? Ajá. Uh -huh. Do you have problems with pronunciation? Practíquenlo, a ver si lo pueden pronunciar todo. Ahí váyanlo leyendo, a ver si lo pueden pronunciar todo. Hombre. I am the new secretary. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I am Mr. Romeo Lobos and they are Mr. Rodrigo Campos and Mr. Luis Perez. Welcome. We are from the marketing department. 
No, I am not. I am from the quality department. They are marketing managers. Yes, we aren't from the same department, but we are colleagues. Thank you so much for the information. Okay. If there are no questions on pronunciation, nice pregunta de pronunciación. Let's move on business. Okay. And I am going to make the groups. I have groups of three. Okay. I have groups of three and we are going to be practicing. Let's go here. I am going to move this one and I am going to move this one. Accept my invitation to go to the groups and practice the conversation. Thank you. Letty and Almita, did you receive my invitation? Ladies, did you receive my invitation? ¿Le llegó mi invitación, chicas? Thank you. Leti? Leti, did you get the invitation to go to the groups? Thank you. <clears throat> Comenzar. Ajá. Qué silencioso. Qué silencioso este grupo. ¿Qué pasa? So you can say good morning. I am Mr. Cristian Ramos. I am the new mechanic. Nice to meet you. You can say that. Pueden cambiarle todo lo que ustedes quieran. Le pueden cambiar las profesiones, le pueden cambiar los nombres, le pueden cambiar... Eh, Otras palabras que quieran, si no quieren que sea en la mañana, they say good afternoon, I don't know. It's your creation, okay? Go ahead, practice. To meet you. Nice to meet you, to I miss Romeo Lobos, and they are Mr. Romeo Campos and Mr. Luis Perez. Ok, important, si estamos cambiando nombres, tú no me puedes decir I am Mr. Romeo, porque tú eres Catherine Elizabeth. I am Miss Catherine Elizabeth, and they are Luz Rodríguez and Alma Dalila, you can say. Vamos a ocupar los nombres que tenemos aquí, right? I am Catherine Elizabeth, and she is Miss Luz Rodríguez and Miss Alma Dalila. You can say. So you have to change, change the professions, change the names, and use the people in your group. Okay, practice. Go ahead. Practice. Por favor. Háganle los cambios ahí. Good, good, good. You too. Okay, I'm not. Hola, Janet. 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 No nos oye la llana. Eh, tiene apagado el micrófono. Uh, me. No. Ah, Janet, ahí está ya. For the marketing department. Marketing, marketing. Marketing. Department. No, I am not. I am from the quality department. 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 They are marketing managers. Yes, yes, we are in from the same department. 
the but department. They are calling. Thank you to Mar for the information. <clears throat> Okay, I am from, let me see, it's right here. Repeat. Okay, it says, I am from the, mar uh, they are marketing managers, you say, they are marketing managers. Remember marketing. that, <clears throat> managers. Marketing. Managers. Marketing. Manager. Marketing. Marketing. Manager. Managers. 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 Okay, good, good. They are marketing managers. Okay, that's the form. Remember that you need to change. Okay, tienen que cambiar los nombres. Usted no es Mari Garcia. No me va a decir, I am Mrs. Mary Garcia. Si usted no es Mary Garcia. I am Catherine Solorzano, and they are Mr. Jose Reyes and Mrs. Janet Saravia. Okay? You have to include and make the conversation yours. Okay? <clears throat> okay? Por ahí escuchamos un ventilador. No sé quién tiene ventilador encendido. Ajá. ¿Quién tiene el ventilador encendido? A ver. Nadie. Por aquí no. Aquí por Santa Cruz, en Alquito, no se oye. Es el mío, entonces. Aquí está el lado. Es el ventilador de José, el que se oye. Se oye, hay un ventilador. ¡Ay, a ver! Igual José. El ventilador de José, el que estábamos oyendo. Ok, good. Practice the conversation, ok. Cámbienle los nombres, cámbienle las profesiones, cámbienle todo para hacerla propia. ¿verdad? No me va a decir, I am Mrs. Mary Garcia y usted es Catherine Solorza, no es Mr. José Rey. Así que arreglen la conversación, asignen cada quien y den practice, ok. Go ahead. I am going to go to the next one. Are not from the same department. But we are, but we are colleagues. 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 Okay, colleagues. okay. Remember that you have to change the names and if you want the professions, okay? Because you are not going to say, I am Mrs. Mary Garcia. Si usted es Tatiana Galeas, right? I am Mrs. Tatiana Galeas. I am the new. Um, I don't know, auditor, something like that. You can change it for your profession. La pueden cambiar a su profesión. There's no problem, okay? Work on that one, okay? Hello again. Did you finish? Okay. Ya, ya terminaron. Bye. Vamos a ver entonces. Tell me the conversation. A ver, díganmela entonces. Si ya están listos. Uno, uno por uno. O... No, they, they, you are in the conversation. Ustedes son todos los actores cuando... de la conversación. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, la, yo lo voy a hacer con Cristian. Son tres los actores en la conversación. Oh. Vamos a ver. Oh. Ajá, practiquen, ya vengo. <ríe> ya ven, estamos listos, teacher. Dele, dele. Ah, <ríe> practice. I am coming back in a moment. Okay, practice, practice. Ya vengo. The new. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. I am Miss Alma Quijano. 
and they are Miss Leticia Ortiz and me and Miss Natalie. Natalie. Okay. Welcome. I am from the marketing department. No, I am no. I am from the quality department. They were marketing manager. Uh -huh. Yes, we are in from the same same department, but one call. We are colleagues. 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 There you go, colleagues, right? Colleagues. Colleagues. Colleagues, colleagues. Yeah. colleagues right? That's Thank the you so much for the information. Very nice job, right? We are colleagues, right? Wow. Colleagues. 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 It, is, it is complicated in some cases, the pronunciation, but it's not impossible, okay? Good. You did a very good job. Yo también. Todos tienen sueño, dice aquí. Okay, ya te vas a ir a acostar, mi amor. Yo también. Don't worry. <laughs> so they are they mm -hmm. aren't from the same from the same department, but we are colleagues, right? Good. So I think we are going to come back. Vamos a regresar y vamos a presentar grupo por grupo. Okay. So let's go oh. back. Welcome back. Welcome back to your class. I am going to share the screen so you can have the conversation and we are going to present. Okay. Vamos a presentar grupo por grupo. And here we go. Okay. Let me call group number one. Group number one, it is made of Christian, Edwin, Ilse, and Joanna. Christian, Edwin, Ilse and Joanna. Action. Uh -huh. Ilse. Who is starting? I don't know. Ilse. Ilse is the first one. Okay, Ilse is the first one, they say. Vamos, Ilse. Lo siento, tenía apagado el micrófono. <laughs> okay, ese es el secreto de la eterna juventud. Si no lo anotaron, ni modo. Let's go. Good morning. I am Miss Ilse Castillo. I am the new secretary. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I am Mr. Romeo Lobo. I'm J.R. Mr. Rodrigo Campos. I'm Mr. Mr. Ok, momento. ¿Quién es mi estudiante Romeo Lobos? Yo. <laughs> no, so you say, nice to meet you. I am Mr. Christian Ramos. Okay. okay. Ah, o sea que su personalidad de Peter Parker es Romeo Lobo. <laughs> <laughs> I am Mr. Romeo Lobo. No, I am Mr. Christian Ramos. And okay, they okay. are, y de ahí ocupas otros dos compañeros, and they are Mr. Steven and Mrs. I don't know, Catherine. You can see. Okay. <clears throat> Aquí no ha pasado nada. Okay. Whoop. Okay, groups. Let's go back to the presentations. Group number one. Group number one is going to be. <laughs> Aquí no ha pasado nada. Mr. Christian, Edwin, Ilse, or Joanna. Okay. So please, action. Ilse. Good morning. 
I am Miss Ilse Castillo. I am the new secretary. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I am Mr. Christian Ramos. Um, they are Mr. Edwin, Miss uh, Joanna, and um, Miss uh, Ilse. Vamos, eh, eh, Steven, Edwin, Steven, es tu turno. Oh, oh, Joana. Edwin. No, Edwin, Rodrigo. Rodrigo, te toca. Edwin, tu micrófono. No, vamos, Joana, salve el día. Welcome, we are. Welcome, we are from the marketing department. Christian, Christian, te toca. No, I am not. I am from the quality department. They are marketing manager. Joanna, vamos. Yes, we are. Um, from the same department, but we are college. Colleagues, colleagues. No colleagues. Se puede so. College, college is universidad. No. <laughs> colleagues. <laughs> colleagues. Thank you so much for the information. Thank you very much. A clap for group number one. Very nice job. Chicos, reacciones para sus compañeros. Envíenle una reacción bonita. Ahí lo pueden ver un corazón. Está fuerte el agua. Ya Ay, Edwin, estar. al fin te escucho. Está fuerte el agua. Es que está bien fuerte. Entonces ya no escuché nada. Oh, my God. Ok, Edwin, pero Joana salvó el día. Don't worry. Ah, ok. Good, Joana. Good job. Group number two. Group number two, it's going to be Alma Dalila, Catherine Elizabeth, Leticia, and Luz. Group number two, <clears throat> action. Luz. Good morning. Group number two, action. Good morning, I am Miss Luz Rodriguez, I am the new secretary. Nice to meet you. Luz. Sí. Charlie. ¿Quién va? Ah, lo siento. Lo siento. Por eso no me enamoro yo, miren. Uno se confunde de conversación. Ajá. Uh, Catherine, Leticia, Alma. ¿Quién sigue? <laughs> okay, aquí no ha pasado nada. Group number two, action. Luz, vamos. Good morning. Good morning. I am Miss Luz Rodriguez. I am I'm the, the new secretary. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Mr. <laughs> I'm Romero. And they are Alma Quijano and Miss Leti Ortiz. Mm -hmm. We are from the marketing department. No, I am not. I am from the quality department. They, were, they are marketing manager. Yes, we are from. No, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for the information. Cerrar la conversación. Thank, thank you. you so much for the information. Very good. Poco golpeada la conversación, pero it was good, it was nice, a clap for your friends, nice reactions for your friends, please, nice reactions for your friends. I am going to send you, let me see, a coffee, 
<laughs> I will say a cup of coffee. <laughs> group number three. Group number three is made of Janet, Jose, and Catherine. Janet, Jose, and Catherine. Catherine. Action. Good morning. I am Mr. Catherine Solorzano. I'm the new nurse. Nice to meet you. Very good. <laughs> Momento. Cortale, mi chava. I am Mrs. You say Mrs. Ma Mrs. Catherine. Mr. No, Mr. José. No, Mrs. Mrs. <laughs> sí, demasiado Mrs. bonita para ponerle Mr. <laughs> so you say Mrs. Eh, Catherine Solorza. Que no ha pasado nada. Group number three. Action. Good morning. I am Mrs. Catherine Solorza. I am the new nurse. Nice to meet you. Ama. Nice to meet you too. I am Mr. Heriberto Reyes. Uh, they are uh, Catherine, Miss Catherine, and Miss Janet. Janet, the microphone. Yo le silencié el micrófono por el well, 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 we are for the marketing department. Very good. No, I am not. I am from the quality department. They are marketing, marketing manager. Yes, we are for the Thank you. The department would wear our pocket. Colleagues. Thank you so much for the information. Very good job. Nice job. You did a very good job. You know, I love when people want to work and they are developing themselves, right? A mí me encanta ver cuando ustedes están desarrollándose y todas están aprendiendo y toda la cosa. Pero no hay nada más bonito cuando tengo a alguien aprendiendo y a alguien que le ayude. Eso es de lo más lindo, porque ¿verdad? es el apoyo de la familia, ¿verdad? que se ve ahí, que, hey, mamá, hey, mira, amor, esposa, lo que sea. Así, it's but we are, okay? So in this case, you say, we are from the marketing department, right? We aren't from the same department, but we are colleagues, Right, colleagues. Reactions for group number three. Reactions for the group. Reactions, reactions. I'll give you a star. You did a very good job. And group number four, it's going to uh, present right now. Group number four is Antonio, Leticia, and Tatiana. Action. Good morning. I am uh, Miss. Tatiana Galeas, I am the new secretary. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, people. You nice to meet you, too. Um, I am Miss uh, Alba Gonzalez, and the Mr. Antonio Santos. Eh, Mrs. Eh, Tatiana Galea. Welcome. We are from the marketing department. No, no, I am not. I am from the quality department. They are marketing manager. Uh, yes, we are from the same department. But we, we are colleagues. 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 Vamos a hacer una tarea de cinco mil veces. Colleague, colleague, colleague. Sí. <laughs> Finish. Thank you. Thank you so much for the information. Very nice job. A clap for your friends and reactions for group number four. Very good job. You did a very good job. Fantastic job, people, on the conversations. You know, you might say, ah, teacher, but the conversations is something very advanced, right? Teacher, nosotros tres días tenemos, ¿cómo nos pone a hablar en una conversación? You can do it, you see. It's, it's a matter of trying, right? 
recuerden siempre que el único enemigo del aprendizaje es uno mismo. Aquí vive la loca adentro. No podés, no te va a salir, se va a ir feo, que no sé qué, no puedes pronunciar. No, no, don't listen to her, ¿ok? A esta marrenla, ni le oigan. Porque si se le, ay, mira qué bonito habla la Tatiana. Vos no. No, the only enemy, enemy is right here. So please practice. Don't be afraid and do a great job. You did a very nice job on the conversation. So I am very happy for that. I am going to call the attendance. Antes de pasar al siguiente ejercicio, que es un poco más largo, voy a pasarles la lista. Okay, I am going to call the attendance first, and then I am going to go to the next exercise because it's a little bit longer and we're going to do more things. So please remember, when you listen to your name, say here or present, okay? Let's go here with, let's see. Okay, Alma Dalila. Alma Dalila. Present teacher. Ahí está la almita con el Alma Xiomara. I am present, thank, thank you. Teacher. Alma Xiomara Candelario Aquino. Hey, it's not here. Alba Leticia. Present teacher. Antonio José. Present. Cristian Mauricio. Present teacher. Edwin Steven. Present. Thank you. Eric Eduardo. Eric Eduardo, Evelyn Janet. Present, teacher. Heidi Yamilet. No, yeah, yeah, Janet Tatiana. Present, teacher. Thank you. Jose Heriberto. Here, teacher. Thank you. Jose Oscar Flores. Josué David Solor, Josué David Salvador, Catherine Alejandra, Catherine Alejandra Juárez, Catherine Elizabeth Romero, Thank you. Catherine Lisette Solorzano, present teacher, Catherine Lisbeth Solorzano. Oh, Present. Sorry. Leticia Magdalena. Present. Ilse Marlene. Present. Ok. Es que me había confundido. ¿Era Catherine Alejandra Juárez? No. Ok. And here we go. Luz de Jesús. Luz de Jesús. Present. Thank you. <laughs> Melvin Josué. Rosa Margarita. Rosa Margarita Mina. And Rosa María Amaya. And Joana Mariela Durán Guardado. Your teacher. Thank you. Uh, o oh, alguien que no lo mencioné. Nueve, diez, once, trece, trece, okay. <clears throat> so let's move on business. Let's move on business. Let's continue. Okay, Mr. Jose, very elegant with his with his picture. <laughs> okay, so I am going to share my screen again. And we are going to practice a little bit on this one. Okay, let me see. I am going to close this one. Give me a second. Let me just close this. And I am going to share my screen with all of you. So here, I am going to take this part. If we take, for example, this, Okay, I will take this presentation better. Uh, 
I will I will open my presentation for you. Voy a compartir mi PowerPoint. So yesterday we were working on the sentences, but today I am going to share something with you. Here, for example, this one. If we have if we have this form of sentence and I have different types of subjects. Como se fijan, aquí tengo diferentes sujetos. Si tenemos que clasificar estos sujetos entre I, you, he, and she, and it, which ones would you use? Si tendríamos que clasificar, por ejemplo, en el caso de a duck, ¿qué sujeto sería? Sería he, she, or it. 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 it can be it, right? It, it because it's an animal, right? Milk. It. Uh, it. it because it's an object, right? It's food. Bob. Uh, he. 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 Grandma. He. 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 Uh, she. 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 Okay, grandma because it's a lady. It's she. Cows. It, 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 they. They, okay, they. it can be they because it's plural. Okay. Why they? Okay, buena pregunta. A pesar de que son animales, pero como está en plural, so you say, for example, uh, there are cows on the, on the garden. They are on the garden, okay? Porque si fuera okay. solo una, si fuera solo, por ejemplo, aquí, Cow, imagine that it's only one cow, it's eat. Pero como es plural, entonces en este caso es they. they. Okay, they. because it's plural, exactly like that. Let's go with the next one. Book. It. 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 Right? Alien. It. 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 Right? It. Dogs. They. they. It's the same case. Es el mismo caso de las de las vaquitas. Okay. Escucho cuatro visión por ahí. Espera. Ahí está. Ya encontré cuatro visión. Antonio la tiene. Okay. Let's go. Brother. He. 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 Right. Elephant. It. 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 Very good. Cat. It, 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 he, 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 and sisters, they, 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 very good because it's plural, right? Sister, only one, she, but sí. in this case, sisters, it's plural. Let's continue. Very good job. You did a very good job. Let's continue here. We are going to use. Am, is, or are? Am, is, or are? Am, is, or are? I say? I, 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 am, I am, right? I am happy. I am happy. What about the next one? You are, 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 you are scared. Ah, he, he is, he is he is a small, right? No. She is, is surprised, right? She is surprised. It, it, is, it is brown. We are, we, are, we are young. You are tall. They are they are old. They are old. Jack is, is, is Brazilian. And the dog is, is, is black, right? The dog is black. Very nice job, right? You didn't confuse anything. Let's continue. And I have here another exercise, right? I have here another exercise. And it says Cindy. Cindy is, 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 my, is my friend. Cindy is my best friend. Okay, de la número dos a la número diez. On your notebook. Go ahead. 
de la 2 a la 10, pongan 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 y me ponen las respuestas. Don't say anything. De la 2 a la 10. Solo pongan la respuesta, ¿ok? No copien toda la parte. Don't say anything. No digan nada, no digan nada. Don't say anything. No digan la respuesta, pónganla en su cuaderno. Number two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. The answer on your notebook. Solo la respuesta. Pongan la respuesta en su cuaderno. Go ahead. But don't say anything. No la digan porque si no le hacen la tarea al otro. And that's not good. Remember, am, is, or are. Okay, we have four minutes. Tenemos cuatro minutos en el reloj. Go, go, go. Okay, okay, we have a couple of minutes missing. Solo unos minutitos nos quedan, vamos. Okay. Two minutes. One minute fifty. <laughs> Jose, Jose nos hizo la tarea para toda la clase. <laughs> no, hombre, ya vi que Jose era el que daba copia, ya lo vi, ya lo vi. <laughs> Prohibido que abran el chat. Y ya todo. Okay, so time is over. <laughs> okay, forget it. Okay, we're going to stop the time. We're going to stop the time right now. Okay, we're going to stop the time. Let's work. Ya tenemos la respuesta, hombre, bichos. Peter and Kate, number two. Jose, number two, please. Is no, pero toda la respuesta. Peter and Kate. Peter and Kate is classmate. Ajá. Uh -huh. Peter and Kate, two people. They plural 
are. Are, very good. Peter and Kate are, porque es un plural. Con los plurales, they, en este caso, es are. Good, very good. Let's continue with the next one. Number three, Leticia González. Um, John is my brother. John, Johnny is my brother. Very good. Let's go with Christian. Number four. You are. A you are. Uh huh. A student. A good student, right? You are a good student. Luz, number five. number five they are in the classroom they are in the classroom very good let's go with edwin steven steven number six it is an apple it is an apple very good let's go with ilse number seven felicia um, Felicia and I, Felicia and I, Felicia and I, we, we are, aha, uh -huh, very oh. good, we are, Felicia and I is two people, y si, tú, y si tú estás incluida es are, we, right, sisters, yes. sisters. The next one, number eight. <clears throat> number eight, Leticia Ortiz, vamos. Um, um, ¿Cómo se pronuncia la primera letra? I. I is um, the teacher. Ajá, ¿qué ocupamos con I? You say I is or I am. Um, um, am. am right i am mm -hmm. her teacher i am her teacher right yo soy su maestra i am her teacher number nine it number nine uh, let me see antonio um, it it is a book that it is a book bag. And the last one, everybody, number 10. Vamos you start. are a doctor. You are, you are. right? You are a doctor. Very good job. You are a doctor. Excellent job. And here I have another example for this one, right? Aquí vamos con otro ejemplo para que les ayude un poquito con esa confusión. If you talk about Tom, so you say Tom, if you uh, replace it, it's going to be he is. Porque Tom es un hombre, right? He is a boy. Si estamos hablando de una vaca, you say it is big, right? It is big. What about Mike? ¿Con qué lo reemplazaríamos? Con he. Con he. ¿Y el verbo para he? Is. He, is. he is a big boy. What about Mary? She is. She is. She is. Okay. What about the car? She is. It is. El it car? is. It is. It, it, right? It is red. What about Billy? He is. He is. He is a doctor, right? What about Jane? She is. She is. She is, she is, right? What about a mouse? Un ratón. It, it is. It is. It is gray, right? It is gray. What about a dog? Un perro. It is. It is. It is, it is brown. And what about dad? He is. He is at home. Very good job. And the last practice that we have for this part, right? Esa es la última práctica that we have for this structure. 
remember that we have the different uh, the different forms of the sentence and in this case we have for example the structure how is the structure of the sentence and let me move it here the structure when you say subject the verb to be and the complement she is happy the subject the verb to be in negative in the complement she is not happy the verb to be the subject and the complement is she happy okay there you have the structure of the sentences if we have here these examples and it says i not a teacher am i am not a teacher ¿Qué oración sería la siguiente? She is my mother. my mother. She is my mother. Number three. Uh, the, the girl is in the room. The girl is in the room. Okay, the girl is in the room. ¿Cuál es el sujeto de la número cuatro? Yo no la cambié de ahí. Smart. No, el sujeto, el sujeto. My dad. My dad. My dad. ¿Cuál es el verbo to be? Is. Is. ¿Y el adjetivo? Smart. 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 Ok, my dad is smart, right? The next one. My mother. My mother. Is a doctor. A doctor. Very good. My mother is a doctor. The next one, you say, she, she, she is, is not, my she not my sister. She is not my sister, right? And the last one? The dog the is dog on, on the bed. bed. On the, bed. Not the, bed. the dog is on the bed, right? And there you have it. The dog is on the bed. On the In bed. this one, <clears throat> let's, let's practice this one. And I think I have something right here to use. This one, let me see. I have here. For number two, what is the negative form? The negative for number two. The negative, the number two. The negative of number two. She is not my mother. Aha, uh -huh. she is not my mother. What about the question? Uh, is she my mother? Is she my mother? Very good. For number one. For number one. What is the question? What is the question for number one? Am I uh -huh. am I not a teacher? Am I not a teacher? Am I not a teacher? Mm, las preguntas llevan negativa. No. Ajá. Eh, sería... I, I, you are. I am. You are teaching. No. You are a teacher. No. Okay. Hagámoslo más fácil. Hagámosla positiva. I am a teacher. I am, I a, am teacher. a teacher. What is the question then? Si am para... I a teacher? Am I a teacher? Right. Am I a teacher? Am I a Am I a teacher? O si se la quieren hacer a alguien más, la pregunta, you say, are you? Are you a teacher? Are you a teacher? Okay, there you go. So there you have the two options. For number three, for number three, what is the negative? Is the girl in the room? No, the negative. Negativa. The girl is not in the room. The girl is not in the room. What about the question? Is the girl in the room? Is the girl in the room? What about number four? The negative. My dad is not smart. My dad is not smart. What is the question? Is that smart? Is my dad smart? Is my dad smart? Okay, there you go. La número 5, 6 y 7 en su cuaderno en las tres formas. Afirmative, negative and interrogative. Las 5, las 6 y las 7. En su cuaderno. Afirmative, negative and interrogative. 
Si ya está, por ejemplo, la, la cinco ya es my mother is a doctor, ya está afirmativa. La van a hacer negativa y pregunta. La seis, que es negativa, la tienen que hacer afirmativa y pregunta. Y la siete, que es afirmativa, la van a hacer negativa y pregunta. ¿Ok? Action. Let's do that. I will give you one example with this one. Ahí le hice un ejemplo con She is my mother. Okay, we almost have one minute to finish. Un minuto veinte nos queda para que terminemos. In almost 14 seconds and the last seconds to finish.
Okay, time is over. So let's move on the sentences, okay? Esas eran las tres oraciones. My mother is a doctor, she is not my sister, and the dog is on the bed. So in this case, we have my mother is a doctor. What is the negative form of this one? ¿Cuál es la negativa? My mother is not a doctor. My mother is okay, not so you say my mother. My mother is not a doctor. What is the question? Is, she, is my is mother a doctor? A doctor? Is my mother a doctor? Right? Así las teníamos. Si así las teníamos, yes. póngale un check ahí, póngale 10. A la Very good job. <laughs> she is not my sister. What is the affirmative? She is my she sister. Is she is my sister. My sister. She is my sister. Okay. What is the question? Is she my sister? Is she my sister? Okay. Y el signo de pregunta. And what about the last one? The dog is on the bed. Negative. The dog, the dog is, is not on the bed. bed. Okay. The dog is not on the bed. And the question? Is the dog on the bed? Very good. Very good. The question. Okay. So those are the sentences. Así las tenían todos. Perfecto. Fantastic. Yes. Okay. So now I need you please to invent one sentence. Ahora se inventan una ustedes. Y me la mandan en el chat. Afirmativa, oh. negativa y pregunta. Tienen ejemplos de lo que hemos estado haciendo. My mother, my sister, my father. Ejemplos como esos. Ocupen otro sujeto, otro verbo, otro complemento. Ok. Go ahead. Y me lo envían al chat. The Zoom. Right here. You are going to send it here on the chat. Las tres, afirmative, negative, and interrogative. Sí que llueve fuerte por ahí. Ok. Al chat, al chat, al chat. Afirmative, negative, and interrogative. La misma pueden ser afirmativa, negativa. Okay. Okay. Siento que me hablan los extraterrestres. Que se se ruido. Ok, afirmative, negative, and interrogative. My brother is a pilot. My brother is not a pilot. And the question? My brother is tall. Is my brother tall? My brother is not tall. Very good. Is your brother a pilot? Very good. My father is an engineer. My father is not an engineer. Is my father an engineer? Good. Very good. En las primeras dos oraciones de Joana, lo único que nos hizo falta fue el punto final. My brother is a pilot. Punto. Y ahí se cierra la oración. My brother is not a pilot. Punto. Ahí se cierra la oración. Very good. 
My father is an engineer. Very good, Tatiana. Nice sentences. Al principio de la oración, todas las palabras son mayúsculas. En el caso de Tati, la primera está bien, la segunda está bien y la tercera también. Ah, no sé, aquí se me había movido, pues está bien, todo está bien. The day is a beautiful. Uy, in this one we're going to correct. The day is beautiful. Beautiful solo lleva una L. So let's move it right here. I will answer, right? The day is beautiful. And we're missing a U here. Beautiful. Okay. The day is not beautiful, right? I'm going to copy it right here. And I am going to send it to you. No podemos decir the day is a beautiful. Porque ahí sería el día es un bonito. Is the day beautiful? Pero ya le voy a dar otra forma que podemos ocuparla. Ahí le cambian bien las, las respuestas. You can say it is a beautiful day. En este caso, sí. Si decimos it is a beautiful day, es un día lindo. In that case, yes. Okay. Let's see the next one. My cousin is a secretary. My cousin is not a secretary. Is my cousin a secretary? Very good. My brother is happy. My brother is not happy. Is, is he brother happy? Okay, Antonio, vamos a corregir la última. Is he brother happy? If you are talking about uh, my brother, you say, is my brother happy? Is my brother happy? Okay. Is my brother happy? That's the one. Uh, my brother is a teacher. My brother is not a teacher. Is not a, not a teacher. Is my brother a teacher? El segundo, my, no es con mezcla, Leticia Ortiz. Ahí solo lo borramos. Is she my friend? She is my friend. She is not my friend. Very good job. Yo siento que cuando les reviso las, las sentences donde, en el chat, es como que fuera en una clase presencial agarrando a cuadernos. En <laughs> checking. Yeah. Para que sientan ese feeling, ¿verdad? a pesar de que están virtual. My brother is a police officer. Christian, se nos volteó ahí el, el corrector. My brother is a police officer. My brother is not a police officer. Is my brother a police officer? Is my brother a police officer? So we make that correction. Sí, a veces el autocorrector no juega mal. So you say, my brother is a. Yes? Are we going teacher? Okay, my brother is a police officer. So those are examples of sentences and it was a very good job, the one that you did on the sentences. Now I am going to make it a little bit different. And here, I need you to have your cell phone at hand. Tienen tu teléfono en la mano? Sí, vea, obviamente. I am going to send you something. Okay. A su teléfono les acabo de enviar un link. Necesito que lo abran y que hagan el ejercicio. Cuando terminen el ejercicio, le sacan un screenshot o el número que les salga y vamos a ver. Examen sorpresa. Ah. sorprendido fui yo pues. ok, open open the link and ok, open the link and do the exercise solo van a escoger la respuesta correcta ok, le va a salir Las opciones, ustedes solo van a escoger la respuesta correcta.
Okay. When you finish, send me the screenshot of the answers. Al final le van a dar eh, check my answers. Okay. Let me see. Okay. Ya logré abrir el, el link. Ajá. Pero ¿en qué parte ingreso? No, no, no. Solo, solo le das abrir el link y ahí te va a salir la, la, la opción, te va a salir el cuadrito que dice iniciar. Y ahí solo le das clic. Ajá, me parece una tabla de clasificación interactivo. No, arriba, arriba. Tiene que salir un cuadrito de negrito. Donde dice iniciar. Yo no puedo abrirlo. No. Solo le dan clic al link. Ok, let me, let me show you. Ya, okay. yeah. ok. Al link que les envié. Al link que tienen aquí. Ok, aquí tienen el link. Ustedes tienen el link aquí. Solo le dan clic. Y al le terminar le dan al terminar le sacan un screenshot o ponen el número y le va a salir ese cuadrito y ahí solo le dan clic a iniciar. Son 18 opciones y se las va a abrir así. Y entonces ustedes escogen la que creen conveniente. Ay, llevándole los exámenes a otro nivel. <laughs> okay, when you finish your exam, let me know. Ay, Alejandro, ay, Alejandro. Ya lo pude eh, abrir, teacher. Ahí a dónde me di, a dónde ingreso. Ahí donde dice iniciar. Hay un cuadrito negrito que dice iniciar. Ya lo abriste así. Ya lo abriste y te va a salir eso. Y le das clic ahí. Bueno, ya. Gracias. Yo también quiero pizza para mi cumpleaños. No sé quién está pidiendo pizza ahí para su cumpleaños. Okay. ok, ahí lo van haciendo y ahí les va a ir dando. Okay. Cuando lo terminen, pueden enviar su screenshot ahí al grupo de WhatsApp. Right here. You can send your screenshot to the group. Tres malas. <laughs> ¿Cuántas preguntas me van a salir? Son 18 en total. Ahí en el número final le va a salir tanto de tanto. ¿verdad? Le van a salir 8 de 18, 18 de 18. ¿Quién ya lo terminó? Vamos a ver. Let's see who finished already. No one, no one. Lo bueno de estos ejercicios es que, por ejemplo, si lo hicieron ahorita y mandan su screenshot, ¿verdad? lo pueden volver a hacer después para practicar y ahí les quedan abiertos para que ustedes los puedan hacer 
todas las veces que quieran. Nadie ha terminado, nadie ha mandado resultados. Send me the screenshot here. I am waiting. Ah, oh, there you have, we have the first one. Okay. Okay. Veinte, veintidós. Okay, send me the other ones, please. And those exercises are very nice to practice, right? They are very good to practice. Hey, alguien me envió aquí al chat. That's very good. Veamos. 18 de 22. Ahí es. Ay, qué linda la teacher. Ah, it's me. <laughs> There you go. Ok, 18 de 22. Lo pueden enviar al chat de WhatsApp, no hay problema. También. So, you see, did you like the exercise? ¿Le gustó su examen? Ok, 17 de 22. That's good. Ok. Ok, 17 de 22. Hmm. No lo sé, Rick, me parece copia la segunda foto. <ríe> Antonio Vázquez en Briana Monge tiene la misma foto. Hmm. No es posible este suceso. <ríe> ok, 16 de 22, that's good. Excellent. So you can keep answering. You can keep answering the exercise. It is a very good way to practice, right? Si se fijan, es una manera muy sencilla, muy bonita de practicar. So I hope that you like the exercise. I hope that you like. Espero que les haya gustado su examen. That was good. It is pretty, pretty interesting. Okay, so let's continue with the last part of the class. As I told you on the previous uh, class, right? Remember, people, we need to work on the platform, right? En la plataforma, ustedes no la descuiden, sigan trabajando. Ahora, porfa, todos entren, revisen que puedan accesar. Eso es bien importante, okay? So please check. Check that you enter to the platform. Let's see, thank you for the ones that are sending me the answers. I am going to go and play an audio, okay? I am going to play an audio and I am going to ask you please to listen and pay attention. Later on, I am going to ask you a couple of questions about what you remember from the audio, okay? Le voy a poner un audio y le voy a preguntar al final qué es lo que recuerdan de ese audio, okay? Qué parte del audio recuerdan, si tomaron alguna nota, si se recuerdan de algo específico. So, I need you please to pay attention. Necesito que pongan atención al audio, okay? So, I am going to share my screen first. Okay. Thank you for all the ones who are sending me the, the answers. Okay. Gracias a todos los que me enviaron la respuesta. You can, you can leave it there. Don't worry. Okay. Lo pueden dejar ahí. 
No me parece la captura, pero tuve 12 de 22. Dice, it's okay, Alma Dalila. Very good job. Okay, you have it. I am going to play uh, the audio. So pay attention. Okay, necesito que todos pongan atención. Le puedo poner el audio ahorita. Let's see if you remember something about the audio. Pueden tomar notas, pueden anotar si algo les parece curioso del audio. And it's okay. So you can, you can actually take notes from it. Okay. I will share this one there. Okay. Here we have the audio. Listen, people. Listen. Hey. I work on Saturdays and in the school holidays. Can you listen? Okay. Hey. I work on Saturdays and in the school holidays. Saturdays are busy because that's when everyone goes shopping. Our shop sells clothes and accessories for men, women and children. I work in the children's department. It can be crazy sometimes, mm. but it's fun. B. I work during my summer holidays when I'm not at university. Oxford has thousands of tourists in the summer, so it's easy to find a job as a tour guide. I take tourists to visit the university colleges, and then we go down to the river. We go along the river on a boat. The tourists love the boat trip, but last summer, one tourist fell in the river. I love meeting people from all over the world. C. I like my job, but lots of people don't like coming to see me because they hate dentists. Sometimes it's very hard work, but it's great to help people when they have a problem. It's so important to look after your teeth. D. My job is very difficult, but I like it because I love flying. I fly planes that take people to different places on holiday. Most of the time I fly in Europe to places like Spain, Greece and Italy. The most difficult thing about my job is when the weather is bad. Snow and thunderstorms are the worst. Uh, the best thing is visiting different places. E. I work in a hospital in the city centre. It's a very big hospital. I help the doctors with the patients. I give them their medicine and look after them when they feel ill. I love my job, but I don't like the uniform and sometimes I have to work at night. Okay. Did you have the chance to recognize any profession? ¿Cómo se sintieron con el audio? Primero, pregunto. Teacher, it was a, a pronunciation British. It was a British pronunciation, yes. Uh -huh. For me, it was hard. <laughs> it was hard, right? It is hard sometimes. But the idea of English is that you train your ear, okay? Yo siempre les recomiendo, chicos, vayan. Pueden ir, por ejemplo, en YouTube, en TikTok, en eh, Facebook. Hay un montón de sitios donde hay audios en inglés. So you can start training your ear. Pueden empezar a entrenar su oído para que ustedes vayan analizando. Ahora les voy a hacer, les voy a robar un minutito más, pero les voy a hacer esto de una manera diferente. ¿Qué es lo que tengo aquí? Esta es la versión escrita del audio. ¿Ok? I know it's small, but I think we can check it, ¿ok? Creo que la podemos ver más o menos. Ok, let me see. This is the written version of the audio. And I am going to show you at least one part, ¿ok? Te voy a mostrar al menos una, una de, los, de los cinco. Okay, I am going to move this one right here. Okay. Can you read number one? Uh -huh. Here, pueden leerlo? Yes. Yes. Okay, les voy a mostrar ahora una manera diferente de hacerlo. Ahora van a escuchar y van a ir leyendo al mismo tiempo. Vamos a hacer los primeros dos nada más y el lunes vamos a practicar los otros. A. I work on Saturdays and in the school holidays. 
Saturdays are busy because that's when everyone goes shopping. Our shop sells clothes and accessories for men, women and children. I work in the children's department. It can be crazy sometimes, but it's fun. Uh -huh. What is the difference? ¿Cómo sienten, ¿Cómo sienten la diferencia al ver lo escrito y estarlo escuchando? Ajá. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? Mucho mejor, ¿verdad? Ajá. Because you can actually see what you are listening. ¿Ok? En el nivel en el que ustedes están ahorita empezando, es lo que yo recomiendo. Busquen lecturas leídas. ¿Por qué? Porque no sirve ir leyendo y escuchando. Ahí van a ir entrenando su oído para que ustedes vayan a, a identificando los sonidos. Ah, esta es tal cosa. Ah, esto es esto. Eso significa eso. Así se pronuncia esto. ¿Ok? El lunes vamos a leer y a escuchar todas las demás partes del párrafo. ¿Ok? Aquí era para ver qué tan curiosos eran. En el manual hay unos links donde usted dice, escucha este audio, escucha esta práctica. En esos links, usted les puede dar clic e irse a estos audios. ¿Ok? Así que ahí les dejo otra semillita para que practiquen. Have a wonderful night, my dear students. This is all for today. And I am going to see you on Monday for your next class. ¿Ok? Ok. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Have a beautiful bye -bye. night. Bye-bye. You can keep practicing. Bye-bye. Bye, Catherine. Bye. Está lloviendo, dice la Catherine. Bye-bye. Have a good night. Tengan una linda noche, chicos. Nos vemos el lunes. Bye-bye. Good night, teacher.